What's up guys and welcome to another top 5 list from me, Scarinder. And as usual, a little, you know, disclaimer. This is of course my own opinions and um, yeah. It's definitely my um, own self-value throughout this list. And if you feel different or have other things you want to fill out with, make sure to actually write that down below in the comments. I do read them and I do care for them a lot. So the reason I made this list from the get-go actually was because of a very, very unfortunate loss I had against a Scarf Superior now that the Contra has been introduced to it. Um, I had ways of dealing with it, or so I thought, but I didn't expect it to be outspeeding with the Scarf, which means that this thing got set up really, really fast, and I have nothing to outspeed it. The resisted damage still okayed me, and uh, overall, this situation made it so bad that i've decided to you know what i need to make a top five i had a list previously made and i needed to redo that and um yeah basically i went back to it and like yeah i'm feeling the inspiration and i i need to do another top five and this is like the closest one that i can actually think of so with that my guys here is the top five worst way of losing in pokemon Number 5. Loosen to different tier. What that really means is when you go against an opponent and the opponent is really not too accustomed to your tier and as a direct result bring posts that are either tougher or you're just, just too tough to deal with and to the get-go you know that you're not going to really win the battle, you're gonna do the best of your abilities, you know, at least bring a proper game but you know the opponent you're going up against might actually be that good that he's able to fend you off and you lose him as a result. And the dialogue after is often very very weird when you try to um, define you know, the um, situation that you brought. Like for myself, I can only look at myself for this and you know, I'm bringing NU, RU, an opponent just bring a full OU team and say, you know what, this is the Pokemon I never use. And you like face palm at that part basically, but you often you know, they can be quite rude because they, try, they really feel that you try to take their win against or away from them. Obviously, it it semi it, it might be the case. Of course, I'm trying to define myself as a better battler than the battler's world was, but it's not really what you try to incorporate, and it's it's just frustrating. It feels extremely frustrating to talk to a person like that, and I hate losing like that because I know I am a better player and. Um, yeah, it's a reason we have a tier, and you know, I try and apprehend it when when I go against an opponent that you know, take the battle, doesn't care for the tier, bring the toughest of the toughest, and just go at it and think that I'm, <laughs> and think that I'm awful. Yeah, pretty pretty bad way of losing, and it's also one of the toughest way of like having a dialogue about. And this is highly highly personal, and the rest of the list here is going to be much more approachable and much more things that I think you guys can actually see. So, let's get into the number 4. Number 4. Last turn mistakes or hacks. And uh, yeah, how to really get to it. One of the worst things to really, really lose at, and I know a lot of you guys can agree, is when you do a last turn over prediction or... A, the, the mistake is so obvious because it is the definition of whether you lose or not. And often, you know, it's a stomach feel and you feel that your opponent, you know, the decisive point is really in your hands. And when you do the wrong play, which opens up the game again, which it should have just been closed down and did the right thing, it really, really gets you. It's really, it, it's there, it's really, it's burning with a passion when that's happened. But that's not the worst offender. Oh, no, it's not. One of the worst things that actually can happen is when, you know, you get the last turn crit against you. Like, you were in a good position, you could probably, if you were, maybe not able to outspeed, but you knew your retaliation was gonna kill anyway, you were in a good position. And the crit ending up mattered because it was actually a 2, K, two hit KO before that situation, but the crit made it to 1 hit KO. Ooh, that stinks. Wow. That is just terrible when that happens. And your opponent knows it, you know it. And uh, some of these players can even be so tough to say that, Oh, it might not matter, but you know, it creates a part of the game, and yeah, don't give me that. You know how that was shit was gonna go down, you know that. And one thing that also can, you know, really, really sting is when last turn, you know, you're fully set up, you're going for that one hit KO, you only need one more hit, and then life will take you out. 
or something like that, and they got a burn or a skull burn on you or anything like that, that from, of course, the position of you going from, oh, I'm gonna kill him to we're not being able to, and they are being able to win due to hacks in that last turn, that is just one of the toughest things you can ever experience. But it's not my worst. Oh, it's not my worst. Here comes the number three. Number three! Hazard kills. And this is as easy as it gets. Being able to actually have hazards killing you is one of the toughest ways to actually go out it. And usually it is like this. Like, hazards never a real issue to you lose your spinner, your defogger, or you have a whittled down team that actually will die due to the hazards. And yeah, there is really no way of going around it once your spinner is gone, of course. And having three or four pokes that will die to stealth rocks and spice combination once they're sent out, it's it's just it hurts so much to see fully Pokemon that are able to actually win the game going down before even be able to do just that. And uh, there is no way of going around it. And I think a lot of you players can kind of feel that way with me. And I want to thank a Twitter follower for actually <laughs> saying this outright to me that this is well, like one of the worst ways you can go out it and I really I, I didn't have it on my list until he mentioned it and it really just came back to me like yeah I've been in situations like this where this late stealth rocks just became game decisive because now I had two pokes that were literally dead and uh, yeah people just underappreciate hazards overall and um, once they're in play they're in a right there to stay then there's where the problem starts and if you have an opponent to have both stones and spikes, even worse, have three the, the other one, the uh, toxic spikes, and can be able to actually fend you off rather properly and stall you out, you know, that that hurts so much. It really does. And it, it is a very, very good strategy from the opponent's side, but you definitely feel that you didn't prove yourself as a battler as much as um, the game got decisive from that very point when the hazard was inbound. And you could argue that, well, that's why you'd never lose your spinner, but yeah, while I do agree, it's also one of those things that you you feel that you can't accomplish something because of that situation, and uh, as a result you lose because the hazards are inbound. And yeah, it's basically, it's a tough way to go down, it's really one of the worst wins, but it's not my absolute worst, I have two more for you guys. Number two! First turn sweeps yeah this is one of those things it doesn't happen too often but by god it happens to so many people it could be a direct response to the team that you have created that has one obvious flaw that obviously get exploited really early on and as a result you just can't do it there's no way in hell that you're gonna get back uh, one other good res like definition is actually take for example I think this is one one of the worst offender of it to be honest Take for example Caracosta, a Pokemon that has sturdy Shell Smash and can utilize weakness policy because of its typing rather good actually. It is able to get I think triple its attack and double its speed in a turn one if you're able to attack it with a super effective damage and bring it down to its sturdy. And it got access to Aqua Jet, which means that it's able to have speed, you know, everything it needs to. It's one of those Pokemon that actually can sweep you from turn one if you aren't made for it. And um, it's not only like that, a Dragon Dancer like Gyarados can also be one of those Pokemon that can really come in after one Dragon Dance, it's good to go, Mega Evolve, smash, done. Or even, you know, utilize the Moxie and get another boost and actually be able to properly sweep. It's not uncommon, I hate when it happens, hell, I've been a, uh, I've actually been a part of this so many more times than I want to admit, but yeah, Navius Flog get exploited and uh, are able to sweep. <laughs> just straight off the bat, it's one of the toughest positions ever, and it's actually the reason I did this list in the first place, because obviously, like I said, the superior with the scop was able to take down four of my pokes before it struggled to death. And yeah, that, that like, generally sucks. It's, it's a very tough to deal with, and uh, it really, really hurts. You really feel less, <laughs> you feel like less of a player when that's going down, you really do. And also I got another great example of Mega Audino, which actually have Draining Kiss, Rest, sleep, talk, and yeah, calm mind. Yeah, good luck with that. It's it's a perfect wall, to be honest. And it's one of those things, if you can, if there isn't a real counter to respond for your setup sweeper, then 
getting that to work properly and to win the battle is just... It's brutal, I guess is the word I'm looking for. It, it looks so bad, you feel less of a player. Your opponent is probably glad because he pulled that off, but you, you feel really that I'm so powerless in this situation. And obviously, it becomes a, just an awful game, to be honest. And you, like I said, you feel less of a player. And like I said, it's the reason I made this list. But it's not my worst one. Oh, my worst one is... Number one! Stall wins. And yeah, I think most of you guys saw this one coming. Um, stall wins is something I just... Ooh, ooh. And yeah, <laughs> it's not... Like I said, stalling is not really a bad thing. I, I can see stalling as a part of the battle as being one of the great ways to actually scout your opponent. You know, getting your footing back. That's a good thing. Like, I can see stalling tanky Pokemon in a in the beginning of a battle, like a good respond and really know is a great way of recovering. But it is when this stall poke is the only one left, and you got three or four pokes left, you know, you're in good position to this point, and you don't have the power to take it out, and it's able to toxic stall you to a win. And, um, ah, it's even worse if they PP stalling you, you know, when you know they have no reason, or they really can't win. And their PP stalling you, that is the worst one, and the absolute worst offender, but these players obviously doesn't win uh, if you don't decide to forfeit, of course, because out of just rage alone. But the one I'm talking about is when you're able to actually have... <laughs> and the reason I'm taking this up is because I've been in positions like this, and I've actually been a part of these ones where a friend of mine from Finland, Deji's Dante, uh, I think he still watched my <laughs> uploads, I, I got hope so. But I actually was down to my last poke with being Audino with Toxic Wish Protect. And he had four special attackers left and they were not able to take it down. And I was able to Toxic Stall them out and Wish Protect. You know, I felt like an asshole. I really felt that it's so... It's so bad, like, bad sportsmanship to do that. I could have just forfeited, but... When I started to see it working, you know, I couldn't resist keep doing it until I get down. But that's the thing, and I can't really stress this enough. When you're on the opposite side and realizing that you can't take it out, it's gonna live, it's gonna survive, you will lose. It doesn't matter what you do, he is able to stall this out to his favor. Mm, my god, how frustrating this is. And it really, really hurts because you know that you have been in the best of position to this very turn when you do realize that the one Pokemon that could take it out has unfortunately already gone down and he's able to counteract whatever you are doing. Ooh, oh it hurts. It hurts so much. It, it, it really does. And the worst way is, you know, it can even be the pain split combination with Toxic. Oh, Ooh, mother. <laughs> so yeah guys, that is my top 5 worst way of losing. I hope you enjoyed this list. Sorry for not having any pictures or anything like that, I really didn't... Uh, I wanted more, but I couldn't really get it to work, so I decided to just do this plain black one and just listen to my beautiful voice. But you can guys, you can definitely expect more uh, top 5 uploads in the future. I have a few lists in here that this is done, I just haven't really felt the inspiration to do them, but they're coming, they are coming, but I really wanted to start this well because of, well, Superior is awful. What is it doing in a new? My god, it's really tough to deal with. It <laughs> sincerely am. Um, so, yeah, guys, don't forget to leave a like, of course. And remember, the sky is the limit. So, have a good day, guys, and take care, alright? Bye.